Hello, this is a short video to explain how to calibrate the robot arm in the Evolution or Divi vendors. The procedure is the same for those FastCorp models. If you're replacing your controller board for any reason or the arm itself for any reason, you will need to calibrate. They need to be matched. The board needs to be calibrated to the arm. So no matter which one, you have to recalibrate. If you're putting in a, another board that already has calibration data in it, or if you're changing the arm but not the board, you need to clear the calibration data from the board in order to calibrate so, to clear your old calibration data, you're going to push the VAC button, just like always, and then you're going to press and hold the reset button. Now, the important thing here is you need to let go of the reset button as soon as you see arm uncalibrated. If you continue to hold the reset button, the next thing you see will be products cleared, and then the entire board will be erased, and you'll have to start from the beginning. So going to press and hold the reset button. You'll see it says this force is reset up and then it says arm uncalibrated and you let go. Now we're ready to calibrate. So depending on the firmware revision this may immediately go and say set arm at left wall or it may just stay like this and I'm going to push the star key now and I'm going to scroll to menu 4 with the calibration data cleared this is where i'm going to be able to calibrate the arm so i'll hit the pound key and instead of asking me to enter a selection number as it normally would it says set arm at left wall so we're going to now put the arm in the calibration position in the back left corner on the later machines you'll see right down here that there is a uh, graphic that shows you how it's a sticker it shows you the two positions the robot needs to be in for this procedure. But we're gonna show you over here. I'm gonna come over here like this. So we're gonna take the arm, and this works for this arm or the uh, plastic robot arm from the Evolution model. And we're gonna just take this like this and fold it over to the back left corner and gently bring it over to the left wall. Now, I like to hold it in position because you'll see when I let go it relaxes a little bit from a consistency standpoint if you just hold it against the wall gently it'll be the same every time now I'm gonna go over here and I'm pressing the pound key you'll hear the beep it said selection was stored and now it says set arm at delivery so I'm gonna take the arm and I'm simply gonna make it perfectly straight out from the back wall now it's not so critical that you need to get a tape measure out here and make sure that it's perfectly centered, but it should be basically straight out from the back of the cabinet. And this is the delivery position where it's gonna drop your product in the delivery bin. Again, I'm gonna press the pound key to accept. And that's it. You're ready to run. A good way to verify the calibration took correctly is to now press the load button. So I'm gonna do that now and you'll see that the freezer lid opens and the robot folds up to the back center. If that doesn't happen, something needs to be adjusted or the calibration needs to be redone. I'm gonna press close now. And of course it's gonna do that in reverse. And we're now ready to run with this machine. Calibration is complete. It's very simple. Thank you very much.